was Adam, and he's now mm -hmm. the head of um, exhibitions. He painted that tree for my stuff mm -hmm. to hang on, so I love oh, that. So mm -hmm. that's yeah, awesome. it was the inside that's cover of a good. book I had mm -hmm. from childhood that has that. Yeah. So. That's what it looked like in that one gallery, and then there's a big gallery in the back. Oh, wow. Where is everything now? Uh, some sold, some is in my house. Some, uh, yeah. It now feels like old work, you know? It's 2013, that was so yesterday. Uh, Village of Arts and Humanities, I mentioned. It's in North Philly. We use art as a way to empower uh, people, all kinds of people in reentry, we deal with recidivism, all kinds of social justice, marginalized communities. Um, I've been working in the Village Clay Workshop for um, eight or nine years. Lily A asked me to come and reinvigorate the clay. So the girls came up with these entrepreneurial ideas of doing these bowls. Yeah. We did it for a hot minute, and now we're on to something else. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, one of our park days, that was my assistant Jess, and with the community we um, repaired this angel that was part of many sculptures at the village, which are very interesting. Next. That was a think tank of all kinds of city planners and architects and neighbors and people coming together. We are dealing with um, renewable resources, I guess solar, something. Mm -hmm. But that's Meditation Park, which is one of my favorite spots. That's the clay studio. Mm -hmm. Next. Oh yeah, big project I did wow. two years ago. Again, got to work with old people. Um, now I'm one of them, that's one of them. <laughs> so it's even better. Um, four panels, sort of that storybook-like thing, and they're about the seasons. Trish is here, has been my right hand person in a couple of the slides that you didn't see, we collaborated on a piece, but collaborated. She, helps, she helped set this. And um, I love the willow tree. I do that over and over again. That was fun to do. Um, snowflakes that the residents did. Doilies and cookie cutters. You know, oh, I, I brought in molds and there are a bunch of pine cones. They did all the cardinals. <coughs> Where, where is this? Artman Lutheran Home in Ambler, PA, oh, okay. and it's outside. So go see it. Those peacocks, they're five feet across by 10 feet tall. So go ahead, there's two more. Oh, yeah. Well, didn't you get an award at SAMA for oh, yes. this? Please tell them. Oh, yes. Yes. What was it? Oh, for the who was it? It was in Boston, and yes. you got an award. It went to Boston, and I got an award. Right yes. An award. I got in the show. That's an award. That is. Okay. Um, that's just showing how I carve big things, and I'll take, you know, weeks or months or days or whatever, however the rhythm of my work goes. Maybe I'm working on all four at once. Then I cut them apart. Then I fire them. Then glaze them. And sometimes fire them a couple of times. That one I think I hit right away when I was happy with it. How many pieces? Molds. Oh, tons. Like the leaves and the fall panel with the peacock. Yeah, make tons of molds mm -hmm, when I can. How many pieces is that from? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that from? Yeah. Oh, okay. Four. Four or five, mm -hmm. I think. Next, please. Pebbles got in there. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. I got over a year of uh, law, working with grief and loss and was chicken became chicken for the first time in my life, had to sort of look at fear. I always thought I was fearless, and that's sort of what drove me. And so once you stop working, and then that's what came out, all I could make were chickens and eggs, and I'm like, all right, I guess I'll roll with that. So <laughs> I had another show at, at Isaiah's Watkins studio with um, five or six other people, including Trish, who's here, um, and that was last year in October, yes. With the big chickens. And I'm still making chickens, but I'm almost over it. <laughs> <laughs> well, those chickens were huge. Um, something I did back in 81, and I just love it. Like that panel on the left is maybe six feet by three, three or a little under 32 inches. And where the I just pressed leaves in. I mean, it's such a basic thing, but it can bring you such joy. And I forgot how much I love doing that and then painting. 
So the grout spaces are all the tree sort of branch lines. So it worked out really well. I did an installation. I was asked to be in an installation with in liquid. Um, and I'm like, I'm not an installation artist. And then I'm like, wait a minute, I guess I am. So I did a little installation on a beautiful property this mm -hmm. summer. Mm -hmm. And then you brought some chickens with you. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're everywhere. <laughs> um, my favorite group in Doylestown, and it's just a saying that always will come ring true for me. Um, I've learned a lot from these people at Travis Mannion Foundation, and I've been working with them. Um, I did a park in Doylestown called Freedom Square. So um, if not me, then who? So get on it, I figure. Just yeah. keep going. Yeah. And next, I think so we'll you see might get to see this one yeah, at all we'll weird. See. And if it doesn't, know that I had some fun in store <laughs> the last slide. Well, it's not, it's not advancing to the last slide. So oh, I don't want to go. Oh, here we go. Wait, wait. It's worth the wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, darn it. OK, wait. Let's okay, try to, let me try to get back to it. Um, it was, it's me. Um, I was with Child Heritage Foundation, which I didn't talk enough about. And I could talk for days, so. You can talk. You have more yeah, time. You, you have more time. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Can I look and see if I can find any of those. We have a tile festival in Doylestown. I do want to say something about it's coinciding with SAMA this year. Mm -hmm. wow. SAMA seems later than ever. It's May 16th and 17th, or 17th and 18th, yeah. sometime uh, uh, Saturday, Sunday. And we're trying to reinvigorate it and get maybe a little bit more local representation. We have tile makers that come from Canada. Um, Alaska, tons from Michigan, and um, we've sort of broadened the committee to promote it this year, so I'm, I'm, I'm on that. And what does that mean, no signal? That means that it's not the, uh, it's not detecting it. I'm plugging the Sorry, we didn't get to see a piece that Trish and I did that was really cool and then backlit. plug it back in again. Yes. Unplug the cord and then plug it back in again. Katja, uh, yes. I wanted we can to know. Do Q and A. Okay, I wanted to know um, when you talked about some of the pieces you fire it at um, cone one. Give it a second. So the pieces that are outdoors on the, at Artman, are they higher fire than than just one? No. Or, no, they're at all. I'm just so curious. So this is the big question. I basically feel like your question is about like the freeze thaw. Yeah, the out, outdoor, you outdoors. doing it in outdoors. And how you deal with it? Yes. Such a good question because yeah. there's so much misinformation about it and uh, the, only the real way you would ever know is to get this really expensive machine yourself or somebody that has it, which Marola I think just bought it, um, or you send tiles off. I used to have to send tiles off to um, Tile Council of North America, and they tested the freeze thaw. Mm -hmm. And then there's some home freeze thaw test you can do where mm -hmm. you can dump your tile in water, put it in the freezer, take mm -hmm. it out of the freezer, make mm -hmm. a little check mark, dip it in water, repeat, you know, until you start to see it fail. Now, they can fail in so many ways. It can be because of. Um, Okay, I'll, I'll debunk one other myth. All porcelain is frostproof. Hmm. No and hell no. Oh. So clay bodies, every clay body is different. <laughs> Go figure. Do you want to yeah. see if we can get your computer it, and see if we can make it work that way? It just take a moment. You can keep talking and I'll try really? to get up. Yeah. yeah, why not? So, Laura Lynn, my computer's right next to you in the <laughs> Trader Joe bag. <laughs> Yeah, it's circa. It's also OG like me, one of the old school. Um, Nothing wrong with that. But clay body. When I'm talking about clay body, there's something called openness in the clay body, and that has to do with how much refractory, like ground up old tiles or brick or whatever, you know, the fire and stuff that's in there. So if you have an open clay body, obviously more moisture is going to be able to get in there. So there's that. Then something I never hear anybody talk about is the fit, how that glaze fits that clay body. That's where a lot of things happen. Glaze just starts to pop off. Well, well what about so even the clay body failing, but the bond is uh -huh. not strong. So what adhesive are you something that Isaiah uses? That type of what when the Artman? What 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 do you use outdoors? <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> um, oh, everybody loves the 
me uh, and help me out. Laticrete too. Where's some more? Is it? The, it's they have one Laticrete. Like I don't know anything to really do. Is oh okay. Melissa does. Oh okay. Okay. If anybody wants to see, you can come up and see the slide afterward of a couple of the of my favorite things that you missed. Okay. So what's um, the adhesive? It's a laticrete. A laticrete. You can use, yeah, and it's got a little bit more flexibility to it, and it's also, they make one that is good for glass and tile, okay. because you've got two different sets of things to deal with. So, um, is it a mix or is it pre-mix? It's uh, powder. Yep. Yep. You know, if anybody ever wanted to, I could get this guy Brian, who's the rep here from Laticrete, talk. Come to a meeting. Well, because Laticrete's come out now with the substrate. They've come out with the board. They've come out with the, the grouts that have the translucent grouts that you can backlight and shine light through the grouts. So that would be a great thing, and he would, I'm sure, love, I would love to talk to us at some point. L-A-T-I-C-R-E-T-E. Um, I love sharing ideas. One of the biggest things I do is the Global Tile Show, um, and I work for Tile Heritage, and we're right in the middle with Tile Council of North America, <laughs> Ceramic Tile Education Foundation, National Tile Contractors Association, and all day long, there are demonstrations, there are shows, they're showing you new product. And I've always been somebody who likes to bridge from industry to art. How can mm. I take things they do, and I also want to adhere to all the Tile Council of North America standards, which all of us artists should do, because, I mean, they're tile